It's funny you should ask if I have a pre-race routine because the answer is yes. One, two, three. Bit of hopping like that. Drifting the corners. And now I'm ready. Let's go. I recently flew to LA to meet up with some fellow YouTubers to take part in a few fun challenges set by the guys from CSR Racing 2. The idea was simple. We'd split into two teams, team racing and team gaming, and battle it out in game and in real life. The first challenge, which can be found on the CSR Racing YouTube channel, saw both teams race each other in a series of drag races inside the CSR Racing 2 game. Unfortunately, me and the guys in Team Racing messed up our launches, meaning that we had a lot of catching up to do in the live drag race event. This was going to be easy. Or so I thought. So now is a moment that I've been waiting for. There's a lot of expectation on my shoulders. I feel quite heavy at the moment. We're gonna go on the drag strip and we're gonna do some real live drag racing. I've been on the track, I've kissed the tarmac, I've sniffed it and it smells good. Race one got off to a shaky start as we on Team Racing were facing off in our manual GT86 against the team gaming guys in a Golf GTI with a DSG gearbox. Got my game face on. Way too easy. Boom. That was shocking. I'm disappointed. I've let the United Kingdom down. I failed. A whale. Next up, it was GTR versus GTR. I'd be battling a 13 year old gamer called Master of, and because I've had plenty of experience with a car, I knew this was a sure thing. And sure enough, I crushed the teenager in the drag race. Oh. Okay, so that's me in the blue GTR, so I didn't really crush him, and technically I didn't really beat him. For the final drag race of the day, it was time to unleash the big guns and to make my mum and you guys proud of me. This time I'd be facing off with the man mountain known as Hike the Gamer. Now he's a big guy, so I had power to wait in my favour. Surely then, I'd win this one. Time to find out. I've got to win one race, right? I've got to win a race. I mean, I'm the racer. I'm the car guy. Come on, Hike. I'm going to let you uh, stage first because I want to play with your mind. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be crazy. Okay, we're set up. Yellow. Yellow. Go! Come on! No! I best shifted because I looked at him! No! I got it! No! 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 I... I'M SUCH AN IDIOT! Ah! 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 As you can see, I broke rule number one of drag racing. I well and truly lost the ball by looking over, meaning that I redlined the R8 and lost a lot of time handing Hike the victory. So then, that's three losses out of three races. I guess I'll have to admit then that I really do suck at drag racing. Despite my screw-ups every step of the way, my time with the guys at CSR Racing 2 was incredible. And if there's one thing I learned, it's that timing, in-game and in real life is everything when it comes to drag racing. Also, that I'm pretty much not a racing driver. That was shocking. It has a tendency to kind of go up on two wheels. You get the back end now. <laughs> yes, this is good. There we go. That was definitely getting the uh, rear wheel up. 